Hi, this video is here to help you understand and use Roman numerals. Let's begin by reminding ourselves about different Roman numerals and what they represent. Can you match each Roman numeral to the correct value? Pause here and have a go. And here are the answers. Well done if you correctly match the Roman numeral and the correct value. We can combine these seven letters to create any whole number in Roman numerals, but there are rules that we have to follow. When a Roman numeral with a smaller value comes after a Roman numeral with an equal or greater value, they are added together. For example, in the Roman numeral xi, the x represents 10 and the i represents 1. i has a smaller value than x, so we add the values together. 10 add 1 equals 11, so xi represents 11. In the Roman numeral CXV, the values represented are 100, 10 and 5. As the smaller values come after the greater values, we simply add the values together. CXV represents the number 115. Now it's your turn. Work out the values of the Roman numerals following the rule that we've just learnt. How did you get on? XVII has a value of 17 and MMXXII has a value of 2022. Let's take a look at the next rule that we have to follow. When a Roman numeral with a smaller value comes before a numeral with a greater value, it is subtracted from the value of the greater numeral. For example, in the Roman numeral XC, X represents 10 and C represents 100. X has a smaller value than C, so the 10 is subtracted from the 100. 100 subtract 10 equals 90, so XC represents 90. Let's look at an example with more numerals. M, X, L. M represents 1,000, X represents 10, and L represents 50. Because X has a smaller value than L, we subtract it. 10 subtracted from 50 equals 40. We can then add this to the 1,000 represented by the M. M, X, L equals 1,040. Now it's your turn. Pause here and work out what each of the Roman numerals represents using the rule that we've just learned. And here are the answers. How did you get on? CXLVI represents 146 and XIX represents 19. Now it's time to take a look at our final rule. The final rule is that the same Roman numeral cannot be used more than three times in a row. CCCC cannot be used to represent 400. We need to instead represent it as 500 subtract 100 or CD. Now it's time for a challenge. Can you solve these Roman numeral calculations? And make sure to give your answers in Roman numerals. And here are the answers. Well done if you solved all the Roman numeral calculations. I hope this helped you understand more about Roman numerals. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website, so go and check them out.